Hey, everybody, good evening to you traders. This is Mark. And you know what? If you're a bear, you're very happy today. What an absolute brutal down day across the US markets. We've got Dow down 2%, uh, S&P down 2.5%, NASDAQ down 2.5%, crude oil down 3.7%. Just a broad sell off that has done some serious damage to these charts. You know, we've just undone everything that's happened over summer. All this chug up from sort of mid July. Uh, you know, we're out of that right out of the summer range, and boy, have we hammered out of that summer range. And we're pushed down right now to um, some prior resistance, which you know may or may not become support. Let's talk about that in a second. But it, it's just that carnage across the board in the US. There's the SP 500 ETF. I mean, look at that. That just stands out on miles. A massive candle, massive volume as well. You look at that compared to, okay, they've got a couple of Brexit volume days, but, you know, this is the highest candle, one of them, uh, since that January sell-off at the start of the year, where we got the sell-off from the at the beginning of the year and just rolled for the rest of the month. You know, this is a serious sell-off, guys. This is not just a little a little flash in the pan. Um, we're going to get some serious action next week. Um, let's have a look at crude oil quickly. The, the currencies weren't that bothered. Crude oil as well, a pretty deep day, but... Um, you know, not technically not so damaging, nowhere near as damaging as some of these uh, some of these indices. Uh, Nasdaq's smashed as well. So, you know, what's what's the play on this? Well, do you know what? Something I want to point out quickly is I've I've not seen this. Um, I can't recall seeing this. I mean, I've probably seen this, but this is this is so rare. Seeing hourly, hourly after hourly red candle with no greens, no attempt to pull back. Even you know, if we go to a fifteen minute watching this this just doesn't look like a normal day i mean if you look okay let's go to a five so we can just look at the day to try and get some action here um the start of the day is 2 30 of course uh, the open of the um uh stock market us stock market we push lower push lower and it's just so systematic you know it's just not hardly even pullback and normally guys on a trend day Okay, you do get that grind lower, but at some point you get a retracement that sucks in buyers and then that rolls over into the close. That's the classic trend day play. And you always look for that sort of between seven o'clock, half eight, that kind of thing. But we just, all we did was flag. I think the, the, the biggest pullback off the lows is like 50 points or something, which, you know, it sounds a lot, but in the scheme of things, it, we didn't even start taking out any highs, didn't even look as if we were going to do any damage to the upside. And then. You know, in the last 30 minutes, the last 20 minutes or so, the hammer just went down. But what was interesting to me is it wasn't spike lower, brutal pullback, spike lower, as we often get with this. It was very much a systematic drive. We'd pause a little bit, drive lower. It was very methodical, very controlled, uh, very dangerous, actually, from a trading perspective because you haven't got that two-way action. So, you know, I think you've got to be careful. I hope no one got caught sort of trying to buy the low on these days but these days are unique and they are very similar in some some ways um one thing i want to note is i was watching the order book uh, in the final hour hour and a half or so on the s p 500 and the uh, dow uh, ym futures on their on their respective exchanges and it was so thin the liquidity was just not there and of course what happens is when you've got sellers coming in and they're hitting those bids hitting those bids and no one is providing much liquidity on the buy side, it doesn't take a lot to start that ball rolling and it just gets going and going and going. And I've said before, and I think we've mentioned this in the video, is that liquidity is the biggest the biggest issue with the markets when they get selling off. You know, it's not necessarily uh, the market's going to fall to the downside. It's the fact that it's going to be exaggerated by the lack of liquidity. So I think my play for Monday is I'm going to have a look at the DAX. Uh, I'm going to try and find a good shorting opportunity on the DAX because we haven't done that much damage. Well, it's a serious down day, but we haven't taken out any support levels there. So let's see what happens in the morning on that. Uh, as far as the US is concerned, you know, who knows? Normally after a trend day, you're going to get a continue. You're going to get a little bit of a retracement back and then you're going to get a retest of the lows. That would be the technical standard pattern that you get. But, you know, is there news going to come out that we're waiting for this weekend? Um, I think it's just a case of waiting to see some trading action and then capitalizing on some volatility on, on, on throughout the week. So I hope you had a great day today, guys. If anything, I hope you didn't get too hurt on this move. 
um, the best thing to do is if it's moving and you don't want to trade it, just stay out of it. Currency's not that exciting. Aussie dollar was about the best of the bunch. The rest of them were just sitting around doing nothing. I think all currency traders were watching the equities. And have a great weekend. I shall be back with a, another video for you guys on Monday. Take care.